everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Grab these. This combustion manifold isn't going to What's happening, Shepard? Let's get we can't sit around like this. Uh, Rex, I was trying to talk to someone and you interrupted what he was saying. Look at that reaper. It's the end of the world out there. And remember to bring it back with the dust. Sure, why not? What's the holdup? Rose out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper are over here. <coughs> oh, Jesus. An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Damn it. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We're going. Already there. Rex, are you receiving this? Is everyone okay? Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Reef struck made it out too. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. We'll need what a new plan for dealing with the Reef. like a tremor. First, we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find a place to meet up. Nothing will stop this cure. Good stuff. I'm gonna have a look around. <coughs> oh god, stop coughing, you bitch. I'm not going to go down there just yet. Ah, here we go. Fascinating. This painting suggests Krogan had an artistic side. Had being the operative word. And now they have rubble. Uh, getting some uh, history on the Krogan. Alright, let's head down. Because that's always a good idea. That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. Did I hear that right? Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws? When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. Wild Guess says that's Cal Ross. If that's what we've been hearing down here, I suggest we get moving. Agreed. I'll make sure I get all the bits and pieces. That's where I came down. Nothing more that way. Another painting. Nothing to say about that one? Alright. Uh oh. More Rachni. There are bound to be more than just the ones we kill. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. 
All right. Daylight. Oh, light ahead. In my younger days, I would have loved to have spent time here studying these ruins. It makes you wonder what the Krogan might have done if they hadn't blown up the planet. True. Right. Truck's over there. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. And the color green. I thought plants were extinct around here. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. Dealing with the Reaper when we get there will be another matter. <coughs> Jesus. Ahead, we've got movement. Nothing stays quiet here for long. No, no cannibalizing for you. Go on, die, you git. Thank you. Give me all the ammo, thank you. Make sure I'm not missing anything around here. Right, I think we're good to go. Oh, I've got the bridge. Alright, let's go. It isn't over yet. Seriously, mine and grenade. Ow. Everyone, all right? Everyone, good? More ammo. Cheers. Rex, you're right about Calrus. She's on the move. Yeah, we've got some ideas on that. What? Not now, Rex. The commander has enough to worry about. What's <laughs> happening? Some crazy idea we can talk about later. Just worry about getting out of there right now. Looks like another shooting gallery. Thank you. Stay still, you little git.
You're gonna just die already, will you? Are right, we done? We good? Alright. Oh, hello. The big ass graboid. Yeah, it probably is. There we go. We'll have that, thank you. Ooh, what's this? Let's go for an SMG. Lovely. That's probably a waste of those, but I don't care. Blowing them to pieces is immensely satisfying. Right, why isn't... Oh, hang on, what's over here? Ooh, extended barrel for the rifle. Don't mind if I do. Here we go. This is true. We have to prioritize. We don't have a plan for this. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that town, I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Cal Ross. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from tower while cure synthesized, released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Cal Ross is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Mawhammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. 
Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero! Damn right. Now, let's show them why. Go! I've got this. We know you do, Rex. See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Let's go. Let's get in there. I'm sure you will, Rex. I'm sure you will. Anything good up here? Ooh, yes. Don't worry if I do. Shepard, some luck. Original strain in storage. Preparing the cure now. Make it quick, Mort. They're all over us out here. By the goddess, to our left. He's big. Ow. Rude. Everyone all right? Fine here. <clears throat> oh. I think so. Okay, Shepard. I raise the hammers. We just get shot by me. Activate both of them. My vice is avoid the giant laser. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. Just keep moving. Stick to cover. The metro cover's going to... I can't believe we're actually doing this. Don't stop! Yeah, good lads. Go! Let's push ahead. Over on our left, one of the hammers. Second one's on the right. Okay. Whoa. Excuse me. Yeah, super fun. Thanks, Rex. There we go. There we go. Karas, dinner. That's a small reaper, even that's bloody huge. There's an angry worm.
God, look at the state of me. Oh no. Mort, is the cure ready? Yes, loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's got to be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Mort, no! Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. Oh, Morden. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else would have gotten it wrong. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. We said it, you Morden. You can still run. You can still get out. Damn it. Why? Why did you have to kill Morden? And there goes the shroud. A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to. Animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Yeah, I've got to know her name. Ugh. <sighs>
God, I hate that bit. Morton's one of my favorite characters. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, heard not Rax has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. Yay! I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying. It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. <laughs> Anything happens, you let me know. Well, we're back here again. There's the kid. Screw that. I can hold them off. Go back and get a Lego. Oh, there you go, you little shit. Yeah, I'm here. Come here, kid. Are you gonna just disappear? I can hold them off. Go back and get a Lenko. No. You know it's the right choice, LT. Yeah, we heard you the first time, Ash. Oh, okay, you're just going to appear in front of me there. Fair enough. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Ashley, back on Vermeer. She gave her life stopping Sovereign. But I wonder what she'd make of fighting a whole fleet of Reapers. If I had to guess, Ashley would call it target practice. Yeah. Sounds like her. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. It must be. Commander, there is 
is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. If Adina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Hey, Hackett. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that mom and Tachunka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them, then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. <laughs> what about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful, and violent. Mostly Vorcha, I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not gonna jeopardize the entire Solari Muni just because some Delatras didn't get her way. And that's why we did it. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Or not Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. <laughs> Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. Any word on the Volus and Alcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Irun. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Shit. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. <laughs> All right. All right. Rex and Ver Victus are no longer on ship. I'm just glad the 
diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. Yeah, it turned out to be all right. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with the Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Navaria? The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see him in action. Right. What have I got going on here? Quite a few things. Uh, Pharos, group of colonists of Pharos have mounted a defense. Defensive against uh, arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough to uh, for civilian civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zeus Hope, said to be survivors of a sav savage Geth attack several years ago, has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. The colonies are using improvised weapons. Whoops. As well as supply salvage from a defunct exogeny facility. This colony is our home, colony spokesperson Elizabeth ba uh, ba Bainham said. We survived worse and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have uh, have time for full evacuation before Reaper forces arrive. Uh, still fighting from Shayala. Dear Commander Shepard, I don't know if you've seen the articles, but this, uh, but the people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. This time it's the Reapers instead of the Geth. I'm not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Ilium. The Thorian is dead now. I can confirm that. But the spores in our bodies remain, and on some level we are still connected. This is not necessarily a bad thing as we fight back the Reapers. We fill each other and act with one mind, ignoring pain when the need arises. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my mind when I went willingly to the Thorian as its thrall. But my connection to the people of Zeus Hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper forces. The situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the Conlis should separate for their own safety. But with one, but with one mind, the untrained fight with the... Take. But with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos, our force is strong. I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We are le leaving Pharos soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you. That's good to hear. General Corinthus, Commander Shepard, when you first arrived on uh, Mene, Mene, I had a hard time seeing... How you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I am impressed. You've brokered an alliance that many thought impossible. Palavan may, might be saved after all. With great respect, General Corinthus. Making babies. Hi Rex. Shepard, making babies again would be fun. As soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in the Kelf uh, Kelfic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad I run the show. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> Dad Tras Linron. Commander, I'm deeply disappointed by your actions on Tuchanka. As I thought I made clear, curing the genophage will have long-term consequences once the Reaper threat has has passed. Our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the genophage, and the Salarian Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. Because you're such a drama queen. I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day, not only for my people, but all of galactic civilization. Gough. Screw you, Dalatras. You know what? I hope Mass Effect 4 continues Shepard's story and that Rex and Eve prove Dalatras wrong. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Um, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. 
What do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask if you're sorry for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. <laughs> Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to <laughs> that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not, but he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? That works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his Reeve took over. It could happen. I know, it's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, might have taken that Salarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Indeed. Uh, Ed isn't in here. Alright, let's go have a chat with everyone. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Thanks, trainer. Right. No, Garris isn't down here. Any sign of life? destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Good cool. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. 
I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Sure. Right, did I find any stuff? Yeah. Uh, weapon damage, shield strength. Mm, my weapons don't seem to be doing a lot of damage, so let's go with that one. Alright. Audio log from Grunt, recruit. Still don't understand why they put a tank grown freak in charge of the whole company. And I don't understand why they gave me wine pijacks for soldiers. I have more years on the battlefield than you have kills, Runt. Trying to mate with Solarian females doesn't count as fighting. No one talks to me like... Whack. Someone help him up. We move in an hour. Good boy, Grunt. Uh, let's see. Alright. Thanks, Glyph. Anyone else up here before I head down? Dr. Chakras, Edie. Edie, what are you doing in the AI core? What are you up to now? I am uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small. Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Tyrians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Good stuff. But right, need to talk to Engineer Adams. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Yeah, that sounds about right for Garrus. Uh, right, engineering. See what Adams needs. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean. It's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra light harmonic phase power cells. Mm -hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Oh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. You pretty much are, Kenneth. <laughs> Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. No worries. All right, we'll wrap this up by having a chat with. Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT 47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. <laughs> Alright. Oh well, yeah, I can buy stuff still.
wonder if it's time to upgrade my hmm. Uh, the Avenger. Uh, we'll check on that later. I need to make sure. Oh, I have the best weapon I can. Again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. All right. What about you, Vega? How you doing? Parts of the chunker reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but you know, the sand and everything. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not going to start growing scales or anything, right? Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. No, oh, yeah, I'm afraid, Vega. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's check the galaxy map and see what, what's available to us now. We're all done with Tuchanka. Cerberus fighter base. Are you new? Meet the Salarian Council. I'm not going to do that one yet because I'm pretty sure that's a priority one. So we're going to ignore that one for now. You're all done. You're all done. Alright. I'm going to, instead of heading off anywhere now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.